fail at things a lot. I've tried this weight gain thing before and I've never succeeded and even now I'm looking at it and I'm like, I think I'm actually potentially getting fatter. My name is Jameson and I decided to undergo a 100 day body transformation. At the end of 100 days, I want to fit into an adult small t-shirt because currently I'm still shopping in the children's section. Each transformation vlog covers 10 days of my experience and this is vlog three covering days 20 through 29. I've been laid off due to COVID and after a few months of being unemployed, found a part-time job. But as we begin, I'm about to start a full-time job on top of that. I'm gonna get half naked, just for the heck of it. Is this what I should be looking like after 22 days? I don't have somebody to look at me and be like, hey Jameson, you should do this and this and this. You can research stuff on the internet, but at the end of the day, I don't know. I was actually doing this thing where I took a picture of myself every night and I was gonna make this whole collage of my progress, but this is my day 22 body and it looks just like my day one body. So I stopped doing that. I didn't even realize that I had this little stomach until I started putting the first video together. When I made my diet plan, I did not take this into consideration. I don't do any cardio at all. He's just trying to gain weight. And then I realized I have this little pudgy pudge and it's not really going down. But I'm thinking maybe my entire plan is not working for me. I'm just feeling like an absolute moron for trying to do something like this. I'm even stupider for making a vlog about it, but whatever, here we are. So it's the morning of day 24, I'm just making breakfast. It's kind of weird running an office job from home. The past few days, I'll do my two jobs and I'll work out and then it's 9 p.m. And to be completely honest, I don't necessarily need a second job if I have a job, you know what I mean? So, I don't know why I'm so afraid to get rid of a second job. I feel like if I keep it, I can buy some expensive things that I want, like the dumbbells. I bought not only 30 pound dumbbells, but 35 pound dumbbells because it's going to come in mid-September, but that cost me $250. It's night of day 24. I'm a few days into this job. I feel absolutely exhausted. I think during this quarantine period, I had the opportunity to really look at myself and be honest and just fully admit to myself, I do not want to be a business person. I think it's because I'm just a really creative person. I mean, in the past four years, I've had 10 jobs. I was never fired, just incredibly dissatisfied. It just leads me to feeling like a failure. I guess this whole transformation thing isn't so much about looking a certain way. It's about doing something for myself, about proving something to myself. And I'm just worried that I'm failing at it. So it's a wild Friday night, not really. I'm not going anywhere because of this whole quarantine thing. I finished my new insurance job for the week. I might actually get fired now from the other job, my side hustle. I've never been fired before. I'm actually working at the side hustle right now. I'm a web search analyst on the side, which means that I have to go through and make sure that results are actually what they're supposed to be. It's through an independent company and, um, they are pretty awful. Vlogging and working is not very professional. I am definitely aware, but I have to select a task to start working now. And with my insurance job and anything else serious, I would never even show a screen on the internet of what I was doing. However, I am going to get fired probably on this one. So like YOLO, I don't like saying jobs are awful, but I definitely have some reasons. I had to do 20 hours of unpaid training and then take a six hour exam just to be hired. None of that was paid, but all of this was automated. This entire time, there's been virtually no human interaction. There's been no feedback really from this job. And I just got an email saying that my ratings are unacceptable. The email didn't even tell me what I was doing wrong. It just said unacceptable. And I don't know what that means. I don't think I need to do this anymore. It's day 27 and I just finished doing my side hustle. I have just written out my resignation. I'm not gonna show the resignation, that would be weird. I've just 
put a lot of thought into it the past two or three days and I'm like, it doesn't make any sense for me to keep it when I have this full-time job, especially with no feedback and apparently I'm doing pretty bad. And there we go. I thought it'd be cool to write stuff and it wasn't cool, but you know what? I tried it. So my last day will be, what is day 40 on this? So I will push through. So it's day 29 and I have my studio lights in my home gym because I just took the cover picture that I'm gonna put on my YouTube. I'm actually working out though, so I'm just gonna continue with my studio lights. I do a lot of different kinds of squats. Normally I face the mirror, but I have the camera right now, so I've gotta face the camera. This is 25 pounds. This is the heaviest dumbbell that I have and I ordered 30 pounds and 35 pounds, but they won't be here till mid-September, which is like, a month and a half because all working out at home equipment is on back order. It's like I made this whole plan with the idea that I would buy heavier weights as I needed them and I'm at the point where I need them. Don't know what I'm gonna do about that. When you go into a gym in person, there's a lot of energy around and it's really kind of easy to be hyped up on other people. But when I'm in my house by myself, I go to work upstairs, I work out downstairs and I haven't left in days, it's just like the motivation to exercise can sometimes be really low. Throughout this process, I've always finished the workout, even if I need to sit there for a few minutes and just kind of gather myself because I don't want to do it. Before this started, the transformation concept is something that I tried years ago and came up with when I wanted to be really buff. And I reached a point in recent years where I'm okay with my body, or at least I was, but I still wanted to do this transformation thing anyway. So I finally allow myself to do it now and it's like immediately off the bat, I had gone from being fine with how I looked to suddenly being insecure about it in a way because now I'm looking at myself in a whole new way. I didn't expect to feel self-conscious about my body. Also with my body, I mean, my arms, I feel like I'm getting a little bit of definition or whatever, but my stomach is a whole other story. It looks just like my day one stomach. I think this is where I'm feeling the most self-conscious is the stomach. Honestly, I'm not fat. I'm not fat at all, but I've always been stick thin. Going from being stick thin my entire life to having this, which was gained because I was sad and sad ate 20 pounds. It's really difficult to think about. It's almost like getting rid of it. It's getting rid of that past part of myself that was very unhappy. There's a lot of symbolism in it because it didn't come out of a good place. So this is me, end of day 29. I feel like I look just like the day one stomach. Obviously, I'm not gonna look like a Greek god at the end of this, even though I am eating the six times a day and I am working out five times a week, you know, two hours a time. This isn't really changing, and I just don't know how to fix it. That makes me feel like I've allowed myself to do this grand opportunity, and I'm missing out on doing the best I can, and I just can't figure out why or what I'm supposed to do. I made it to the end of this little segment. It's day 30 and I realized something. No, I'm not making mountains of progress, but honestly, I'm doing the best I can and I have to be proud of that. Regardless if, you know, there's something better that I could do that I didn't know about, I'm doing this. You know what I mean? It's the end, so I have to do my push-up thing to see how many push-ups I can do now. It's also a rest day, so I'm just gonna like do it in my bedroom because I'm not actually working out today. Tiffy has come here to spectate my push-ups, so that's awesome. Are you excited, Tiffy? On day 20, I did 22. So we're gonna see if I can beat that today. I have to move you over here, and here we go. Okay, I did 23. It's only one up from last time, but like, I don't know. I'm gonna take it. I did 23. Hey, Tippy, do you think 23 is a lot? I think going forward, I'm just going to keep doing what I was doing, but I'm going to implement cardio, and I'm gonna do that as a separate workout, so I'm going to go to two workouts a day, and hopefully adding cardio is just what I need.